basically looking for um, some divers. They've been here all winter, have seen them already before. So let's go and see if we can find them again. So we're at Barragoni now. Um, it's quite a large reservoir, uh, but it's not so massive that you can't cover it quite easily, especially from like uh, near the steps here. So I'm going to step here and do my first scan. What I'm sort of looking for is basically what we've got out here and what numbers. So at the moment I can say that there's very little out here water's not so choppy that it's you know there's big troughs in it unlike the sea which can be very difficult uh, there's a few cormorant and there's a few uh, sort of grebes and coots but nothing too crazy so picking up the divers should be relatively simple um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see it's you, you're unlikely to get it on your first per pass because if they're feeding they can go under for quite a long time so you've got to keep sort of re-scanning and I find using binoculars is the best thing to do keep scanning keep scanning until you see something that you think might be it then put the scope onto it and try and get a better view but normally once you've locked it down with the binoculars you, you'll be able to find it again relatively easily unless they're doing very big long um, trips under the water feeding so yeah I'll just keep looking and we'll see how we go Great Northern Diver. Fantastic, not too far off from the bank at the top there. That's good. That's nice. So. Okay, so uh, we're just going to move around a bit. We found the Great Northern Diver, as you've seen, and now we want to try and see if we can find the Black Throated, but let's get a bit of a closer look at the Great Northern Diver if we can, because it deserves a bit of a good look, I think. So we're going to head round now and have a look at that. Yeah, it's up again. Further left. God, it's up and it's down like straight away. Yay, black throated. Oh, cool. That's so close to the bank. It's crazy. Right, so it's getting into for a couple of hours we've been here now. Um, all I can really say is we've seen both divers, both black throated and uh, great northern diver. The best tactic I can honestly give you for working a reservoir when you're looking for birds like this is use your binoculars to scan. And when you find uh, any blob on the water, check it out with a scope. If you know, depending on your skill level, but you know how experienced or not you are. But if you're certainly unexperienced, use your binoculars, use a spotting scope. If you don't have a spotting scope, it will be much more tricky for you. Um, but yeah, these, these birds were pretty difficult to find, even on a sort of very open reservoir like this. So don't, you know, underestimate. They blend in with the surface quite well. The only thing I will say is, if you are, um, especially if you've got two different species of diver, one thing I've noticed today was when they're diving a lot, it can be quite difficult, even, even though they are quite different, to sometimes pick out the, 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 the differences on black-throated diver it has a very clean neck and on a great northern you'll see like a half collar make sure you pick that out first to, so you can help separate those particular species um, red-throated isn't here today but if it was here it's a much paler bird and it tends to stick its bill in the air 
um, it swims with it pointing up the other two tend to have their sort of horizontal or, or, or flat so yeah go out check out reservoirs check out the sea you might find yourself some divers winter time is the best time to do it as well uh, start as soon as start getting into spring and summer they'll go up north for breeding and unless you live in Scotland you're probably not going to see them in breeding plumage and that's it I'm going to head home because my hands are cold and uh, get a cup of tea I think yeah a cup of tea so for now ciao change your plan long tailed duck let's go okay so we're coming to look for the long tailed duck uh, on uh, the other part of the reservoir and the first thing I'll do is I scan my eyes very much the same with the divers have a look with the well amazing it's there so yeah I've got it just here to be fair if you're wondering how I did that it's because um, <laughs> there's only a couple of ducks on the reservoir two tufted ducks and, uh, and a long tailed duck but yes it's a nice adult male this one looks really really awesome easily one of the prettiest ducks in the UK okay really I'm gonna go home now uh, seen long tailed duck great northern diver a black throated diver in a day I think you can never moan at that so gonna go home now warm up and get that cup of tea I was craving